So Sunday marks 10 years since Superstorm Sandy, but are we even ready for the next big storm? News 12 Connecticut's John Craven looks at how our state is reducing the flood risk and whether it's too little too late. The shoreline is a way of life here in Connecticut, but with sea levels rising, can we keep living on Long Island Sound? The Connecticut coast has a face. My name is Bill Lucy. I'm the Long Island Sound Keeper. It's Bill Lucy, and he is worried. We're out of time now, and we need to work very hard and very fast. If the clock is ticking, Superstorm Sandy was the alarm. Connecticut sustained $360 million in damage. But since then, the state has made major changes to prevent flooding. We've come pretty far. That, that was a big wake up call for Connecticut. Instead of one big fix, it's dozens of smaller solutions, like restoring marshlands, taking down unnecessary dams, improving aging stormwater systems, widening drainage culverts under roadways, and even offering homeowners incentives to unpave their property. As we build, as we add more streets and driveways and buildings, there isn't anywhere for the water to go. It doesn't drain into the ground, so it just flows into your neighbor's home. What I effectively do is just... Hundreds of homes have been raised. Connecticut is also strengthening building codes. Simple things that the construction industry could be doing with hurricane-proof nails and you know roofing uh, approaches things that can help avoid a whole lot of um, insurance claims but construction keeps coming along the shoreline are we overbuilt in connecticut you know all of our coastlines in the united states are overbuilt and connecticut is no exception to that should some of these homes eventually go if we work with nature during that process we can build in a lot of that resiliency and still keep communities on the shorelines but bill lucy says life along the coast could look very different my biggest fear is that we're going to end up with a long island sound that's completely surrounded by sheet piling and there'll be no more beaches it'll be a steel canyon ringing this entire area. Of course, all these resiliency projects are expensive. Connecticut's attorney general wants the oil companies to pay. He's now suing ExxonMobil. In New Haven, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut. And if you missed our half hour special, Sandy, 10 years later, you can certainly catch it again at 9 p.m. tonight and tomorrow.